Yeah, 10 things that the former Idol judges, all four of us, <laughs> hate about the new television shows like um, X Factor, The Voice, The Voice, The Voice Kids. <laughs> uh, well, no one needs to say that. How are we going to do this? Because it has to be 10 in total. You want to kick things off, Kyle? I'll start by saying the first thing I hate about these shows is that none of us are on them. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Absolutely Amen. disgusting. We can leave it right there yeah. with a touchdown, oh, Kyle. Yeah. Nice that's it right must. there. Well, that's got to be number two. No <laughs> touchdown. No catchphrase of any no, description. No catchphrase. Nah. There are no catchphrases. No. Not, nah. Okay, who's going next? Back Marsha. in the day, it used to be out about the people's voices, and, you know, it's all about props and performances. <laughs> did I say that right? No, yeah, you did. Did, <laughs> did I? Yeah. Because it's all about, it's just madness. It's not about what you're listening to. Yeah. It's all about what you're seeing. And it's supposed to be a music show, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be Does about that the... that make sense? Yeah, also, because they I used... think so. Well, yeah. you, well, I think no one's harsh anymore. Exactly. You see, no on our show, yeah. Marsha was a right bitch to the contestants. Liar, liar, <laughs> bloody <laughs> pants yeah. on fire. It's just that they never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. It was in commercial break. Mm. Uh, no, but you know what Go, it's girl, you're <laughs> so beautiful. Commercial. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know that never happened. No. Oh, oh, oh. It now, never you know, happened. You were... You want no, to try no, I think, it, but right. I think I think Dicko's right. Is that is that we're in that era, and we have been for a while, yeah. where every kid gets a prize. Screw yeah. that. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. Come, come with the reality. Come with the reality. If you're no good. You're no good. In all honesty, like the, the voice, I know it, it's, it, it's had its it's big runs on the board when it first started. Everyone loved the red chair, but uh, you know that it, it's it's really just, it's not really just about the voice. No. It's really not. No, it's not. You huh? guys were harsh. I'm going to play something for you. Um, this is Dicko's most infamous comment that really got everyone riled up, and I don't think they would say this on a talent show now because you're <laughs> right, Mark. That it's all about being. Do we nice really have to now. drag this up? Yeah, let's drag this <laughs> up. Here we go. This is really hard for me to say, but it's it's the real world. You should choose more appropriate clothes or shed some pounds. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was to Paulini, wasn't mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she Pauline took she fine. took it took me at my work because she looks gorgeous. She now. looks great. And you're a tuck shop lady, aren't? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. the jelly belly, jelly and belly millions belly. of other you things. Had many, you had many, Kyle. <laughs> many terrible but I like things, the honesty which of we it. couldn't find no, any of on but YouTube. But I like the honesty <laughs> oh, of it, really. <laughs> you know, I love the honesty of it. Yeah. You know, I mean, we tried to sort of get them ready for the business that is. Yeah. You know, and there, but for the grace of God, God, that's what I do. Hey, Jack, you're right though, because. There is no contro- no controversy anymore, is there? There isn't, actually. If you There's think about enough. it, they're, they're scared of it, where we kind of ran with it, didn't we? Yeah, well, See, you the just... difference is, on these shows where you've got the celebrity panellists, and it's great to see these guys, Ricky Martin, everyone's doing a great job on these shows. Yeah. Well, they are, they're doing yeah, a great job. Are. But they're performers. And Marsha, you would know what this is like. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's sort of you too, Mark. We don't, we don't see you. Is it? It's a different thing now. I you want to make your my lady was huge, Kyle. <laughs> but Marsha, Marsha would, would, would judge... From the point of view as an as a artist, performer, yeah. so she wouldn't want to. She wouldn't want to. She'd tell them the truth, but she wouldn't want to hurt their feelings. Where Dicko, uh, you would you would judge as the record executive that would be like, nah, she's disgusting. No one. And is that what happens that. in the real world? Yeah. Well, it is. The problem is, I didn't realise how hard it was to tell someone the truth to their face. Yeah. Because in the record industry, we say it all behind their backs. Yeah. yeah. We say, oh yeah, you were great. We'll get back to you phone never rings yeah, exactly. <laughs> but so to stand 10 metres away from someone and say you've really not got anything the dream's over that's hard Gosh. but once yeah. you've got the first whiff of blood in your nostrils mm. you get over it <laughs> you do that's not you actually nice. quite enjoy it ok who's next who's next uh, oh by the way oh sorry yeah who's next anyone else come on ok uh, Idol had two hosts not one. No, yeah, they're oh, all. Oh, it's a good one. one. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, With Osho. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Yeah, Osho changed his name. I don't know. He went gay, changed his name. I think he's trying to date some bloke on another show on Channel 10. No, he's the host <laughs> of The Bachelor. Oh, he's not trying to date The I've Bachelor. I've never seen it. Kyle. I never seen I don't know what's going on. <laughs> And, uh, he came in here the other day with, with a kale shake. He wanted me to drink it. A kale shake. <laughs> that was green. Green. It was green. Did, did you guys ever have much to do with um, James Matheson yeah. and Andrew? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love we all hung up. We Absolutely loved them. Loved I never them. really loved Kyle them. had nothing to do no, with anybody. I, I, love them. I have to say, I, I think those two were just absolutely immense as hosts. They yeah, were brilliant. Too. And do you know, too. for all the stuff you saw on, on air, you, what you didn't see was them working the crowd, the thousands of yeah. people out in the street yeah. queuing up. And the other yeah. thing I think that we had and, and when you think of that that new voice that I can't even remember the, the girl's name now the one that the girl that won it and they and they totally Police. screwed up the record release yeah. mm. I mean I mean how bad do you get 
when when you've got an actual television show going on and 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 the moment is there and you don't put a single out and you wait a few weeks i mean the whole point of reality t- tv for music hot, yeah. is that you it is impulse buying yeah people yeah. buying it because they see it right now and you go bing 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 don't boom. bang your hand on there you're gonna break your fingers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't realise. He gets very passionate. He's going to break some bones. But it's true. I mean, think of the hits we had. We yeah. had. We had absolutely. I mean, the prayer. Yeah, that look was a guy. massive, oh, I didn't massive, like the prayer, massive but it was big. hit. But it was big. No, guy. but it was three hundred. Yeah. It was the biggest single of all time, it or was. something or other. Hey, look at Casey Donovan. We had her in here the other day. She's a sex addict on Tinder now. <laughs> She is. <laughs> We're the girl still called a, Ivan. It's still a, still a great voice. Oh, brilliant. She's really come that? out of a show. Marcia, you don't believe me. It's true. I know. It, she was in here. I, I know. I read. She was having like 35 <laughs> guys a week or something. I don't know what happened. It was a lot of people. I was amazed. <laughs> Anything else on your list, guys? And sometimes they'd open up the door and they'd go, you're the chick from Idol. I heard it for you. <laughs> so get your gear off. I'm here for fun. Yeah. Actually, do you know, I want to put the cat amongst the pigeons here. I'm really enjoying X Factor. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I am. You I know want that's a not job. What you want He's just looking for no, a job. I actually think I think, they're, f- I think they found some really good talent this year. Oh yeah, in fact, there's some great people yeah. on there. There's yeah. no doubt. There's the talent still out there. There's yeah, no but why? Doubt. But why don't? Why doesn't the talent from these shows have the big hits that we had in our day? Why aren't they having the big hits? Ah, because I think the business has changed that much, man. It has. Yeah, yes, I think you has. might be right. Yes. But still, a hit's a hit, mm-hmm. and 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 the hits that Guy had, the hits, the the, the hits that Anthony Kalia had. I mean, and then you go down to Matt Corby. That I mean, Matt Corby. Corby thing, that was Matt number Corby, one. Though, for the, the, no, it was number. That was the biggest song of the decade in but, the yeah. in the two thousands. But look at Matt Corby. How but look cool. at yeah, yeah, he's exactly. great as well. So cool. I remember. Jackie's Cop. got no idea who we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Of course, she I know who Matt Corby is. He's a spunk. Yeah, yeah. Hey, do you know what? About three months after Guy won Australian Idol, we took him for a bowl of pasta and gave him an envelope with a check in it, and we. He said, what's this? And we said, it's your first royalty check from BMG. And he owned it. He said, Guy Sebastian, $1 million. <gasps> wow. Oh, my God. That just gave me goosebumps. That's like six of those. And he didn't even know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, had, he didn't know what's he coming. He had no clue. And it was probably one of the... I've been in the industry a long time. That was one of the great moments. To give oh. a young kid, 21, a check for a million dollars. What did he yeah. say? Was he, he said, I'm going to go and buy a tinny and go <laughs> fishing with my brothers. Oh, oh he didn't put it in the collection plate at church? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> he's been pushing that bowl past him with some coins for years. He gets a million dollars. He's like, oh, I'm finished with church. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, guys, it's good to have you in studio. The Idol reunion this morning has been Oh, we didn't even fun. get through the ten things. I, I think you guys did, actually. We did. Actually. I think we covered it. Yeah. That was just a continual bitch about things we don't like. I think <laughs> it was, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.